We've got so many different ideas. We've got literally dozens of ways to slow and reverse aging in the lab. So I'm pretty excited about a whole portfolio. But I think the, the easiest to explain, and fortunately also uh, for communication purposes, the most exciting, is a class of drugs called senolytic drugs. They're called senolytic because they kill aged senescent cells. And these cells, they accumulate in all of our bodies as we get older. And unfortunately, they aren't just benign cells that, you know, accumulate but don't really do very much. They also emit this cocktail of toxic molecules that effectively accelerates the aging process. And we've done experiments with mice in the lab. You wait till they get to about 24 months old. Now, mice obviously have a much shorter lifespan than humans. So that's about 70 in human years. And even though these mice are already very aged, they've accumulated these senescent cells. You give them one of these senolytic drugs, it can clear out some of those senescent cells. And what you find is the mice basically get biologically younger. They live longer, so they live a few months longer, maybe a few years in human terms but they don't just do so by preventing one particular disease they get less cancer they get less heart disease they can run further and faster on a little mousy treadmill they even have better fur so it's really globally reversing the aging process by targeting one of these hallmarks these senescent cells and it shows us that this is the way that we can intervene in aging we can prevent you know potentially multiple potentially even all of those age-related diseases simultaneously by attacking a root cause and that's what i think is one of the most hopeful ideas at the moment a lot of it's going on in mice and labs all around the world, just because you know some of this stuff is quite cutting edge. Senolytics, however, are one of the uh, handful of treatments that are currently in human trials. The first senolytic trial actually started in 2018. And what you often find with these anti-aging treatments is they start out, hopefully, as being treatments for specific diseases where we know that hallmark of aging is involved. So, for example, with the senolytics, we know that senescent cells are uh, sort of crucially involved in things like arthritis, things like age-related macular degeneration, which is a form of blindness you get as you get older, with lung fibrosis, which is obviously a lung disease that, again, is predominantly found in older people. And the idea is that if these senolytics can slow the progression of these diseases, and if they're particularly importantly, if they're safe, we could potentially see them branching out you know, and giving them to people who are what we'd currently consider healthy. It's just that they were born a long time ago and have accumulated a large number of senescent cells. And I'm really confident that because these things are already in human trials, it's only going to be a few years before these things are available in the clinic. The way that I get around this and try and satisfy both the journalists and the scientists is that I say a lot of these treatments are going to be around in time for many, many people who are alive today. And partly that's because some of them are going to be available in the near term. There's senolytics I've already talked about. There's the idea of repurposing currently existing drugs. Like There's a diabetes drug called metformin, which there are hints might slow down the age process and is about to go into a massive human trial to check it out so that you know there are things that are really definitely going to happen in the next five or ten years then even the longer term stuff things like gene therapy things like stem cell therapy these do sound more sci-fi than just popping a pill but you know these aren't centuries away they're decades away and so the idea is that you know if you're keeping yourself in relatively good health if you can benefit from these nearer term treatments then it's absolutely no guarantee that you won't be alive in time for a stem cell or a gene therapy that could potentially slow your aging down in a more comprehensive way